to start using the planner, first you need to draw the plan from scratch. Enter your project name and hit go. Select the polyline tool and using the grid as your guide, start with drawing the dwelling to scale. To end the line, either double click the mouse or hit the escape button. The orange draw indicator appears as you draw, so you can keep track of distance and angle. A great shortcut to return to the full image quickly is to hit the reset grid button. Now it's time to add the fence line. Start with marking the key boundary points using the measuring markers tool. You simply click on the starting point, release, and then drag until you reach your desired distance. Using the line tool, you now mark out the boundaries of the property. Once you've completed putting the boundary lines in, you can neaten the inset points using the edit tool. And then remove the markers. Time to add the plants. Select one of the drawing symbols. In this case, we're using plant. Simply click. Release and then drag to place the plant where you want it and its approximate size. If you want to be more accurate, you can use the edit tool to set it to the exact size required. To duplicate the plant, first use the edit tool to copy it and then click to place until you have placed all that you need to. Creating trees uses the very same functions we've just covered. Then hit escape to move on. Labeling the key areas of the property is the next step. Click on the text tool and then create your labels. Now we add the equipment items. Click to place them, and then as with the draw symbols, these can be rotated, resized, moved and copied. You can even add north, which helps us know where the sun is. This will play a part in the design of the irrigation system. It lets us know where there is full sun and where there is overshadowing. You can also add water tanks and indicate whether they're above or below the ground. You can also specify the size you require. Now click on next. The next step is to complete the water supply form and then your irrigation needs. Finally, you'll see a preview of your completed drawing. If everything looks good, hit the submit button and leave the rest to our design department.